Hi everyone, this is the uh, April 24th edition of uh, the Apply Working Group, also known, also known as our fifth meeting. Um, so yeah, uh, we actually did things this week, so that's good. <laughs> Even though it was a short week because we did our last one on Wednesday and today's a Tuesday. Um, so let's see. Um, How's everyone feeling about our sprint better than last week? Yeah, I felt like I got swept in. Yeah, okay. Um, I think, uh, well, okay, let's uh, let's go through this real quick. All right, multi-value extension tags. Uh, so that uh, was done. Uh, Open API general error handling. I th started. Started. Okay. Did that not get merged yet? I thought something was merged. Or is there more? There's more coming. Yeah, there's more coming. There's more coming. Okay. All right. In fact, there's a, P, a work in progress PR that um, I've already got a little feedback on. Okay. Cool. Um, patch handler, add tests, and run. Uh, I think instead of doing that, you added some documentation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, you've so not done. done some uh, refactor for understandability. Uh, I guess I kind of did that, uh, but it's still out for review. I'll just change the name there. Uh, and it's not done. So uh, did Jordan come back with comments? Yeah, Jordan left some comments last night, uh, which I'll go in. So hopefully that'll be in, in, a, in another day or so. I just have to. Uh, some of them I just have to argue, and some of them uh, I'll make a, I'll make changes. Um, why are Open API spec through the registry? There's a PR out, but uh, it needs to be changed. I think we have to do a coordinated thing because. The types in the apply code that we're just going to take in the cubes as well. Okay. To be different from how it's stored. Okay. The, what do you mean by that? It, it stores it as like a proto dot. Yeah. And it uses that, but. Because you can generate the proto dot schema from anything you want. From JSON. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We, that's what Maddie's saying. But we do have to generate it. We'll just generate it from JSON and just catch it instead of using the same underlying okay. swag. I mean, it makes sense. It should be. Okay. Let's switch it to it. So let's see. I think I have some PRs out that I'm not sure if got, got reviewed. Uh, I had a PR out to the feature branch to add a change log type thing. True. Uh, so if somebody could review that. Uh, Can you add these somehow? I'll give you a number. Yeah. I don't know. It's um, the, the Slack channel is a good place to find all the PRs. Yeah, I've been trying to type stuff there. See. Um, the number is 628146. I mean, I can merge it. I just, I think somebody should probably like look at it and say yes. <laughs> I can do that. Um, and uh, uh, since it's what you were doing, I'm going to say um, document. Uh, Oh, well, that's very simple. Document IDL. What? IDL what? Uh, tags. Tags. Okay. It's more than tags. It's like the entire IDL. So I guess what I, you have right now is I'm somewhat copying the document that you have into these. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess it's not on a feature branch. Um, I don't know. It's pretty expensive, but also half of it's done. So I'll down our three there. Can I change the gen error handling task to um, list type validation? Um, so it's validation for the new list type. Okay. And then, so I haven't obviously done validation for map type since we haven't actually done the map type. And then the type. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so 
got a little bit done last spring. I feel like I did something that went in and didn't get counted. And also, Antoine got the at least one documentation PR in. But it wasn't the stuff that we said that we were going to do. <laughs> Looks like me. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, are we satisfied with how we're executing? Is there a way we can? So. So, so I was curious. So, so are, are we agreed that we want to have a simple path through all, um, all the way through the you know, end to end to be able to basically just put something to start off with, basically? And then we, we had mentioned that we wanted to, or I had mentioned a, a strategy to get a simple end to end. Uh, apply working and then iterate on it. Okay. What do we think about that? And I mean, I think that's what we're trying to do, but okay. there's, there's a lot of moving pieces just to get like, just, the, to, get that. just to get anything working. That she's um, one of them. Patch is definitely one of them. Uh, so yeah, I was just curious if we're happy with the things that we have done and are doing and whether or not that we're moving in that direction. I think, I think, uh, the patch handler refactor is necessary for adding anything to the patch handler, right. yeah, no matter exactly. how fake it is. Yep. Um, and I, like I said, I really like the, the, the way you did that with all those small commits, and I'm going to try to actually yeah, that's, mirror that. Yeah, that's great for refactoring when you're changing code, especially if it's a little under-tested like the, the patch code is. <laughs> and I'll say fun. Uh, I mean, actually, there 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 are a bunch of tests. It's just not like there's a there's a framework. So if you search for the function, it's only called from one test. Yeah. But yeah, then yeah. if you look, there's a bunch of go tests that like set up the framework and then call it. Um, are they exhaustive? No, but they are there. Uh, yeah. And occasionally, I I don't think <laughs> uh, the one the one time I did think about changing some behavior, it did actually break a test. So. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit more to do on that. Um, and so this wasn't on, a, on the future branch? No, I think it, it'll be a, so if we're just generally doing refactoring without changing any behavior, I think it's better to do it on master right. if we can persuade everybody that it's just a net improvement. Uh, for this one, it's pretty clearly an improvement. Um, I think, unfortunately for Jenny's, that David is a little uh, reticent to, to, to take it, and uh, I think it's best to just merge on the uh, yeah. merge on the feature branch, and we can always like cherry pick to, to master, right? So that, that should be fine. Um, uh, I, I added to the API machinery sig meeting uh, an entry uh, or a line item tomorrow to talk about open API. I think there's I some uh, hesitancy to uh, incorporate it more widely through the server stack, so I want to get that out. And, and, uh, I mean, I'm not in love with Open API. It's just the thing that we have, and we need yeah. some way of talking about our schema. Like, yeah, yeah. We either are basically our choices are use Open API or write our own. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there should be two different types of our schemas that we're using. I mean, there are, but as much as we can, we should use the one that we're serving. It would be nice to have one schema used for everything everywhere, <laughs> rather than making everybody rewrite. The functionality for two different sources. Uh, so, uh, if we can make it work, and we should probably investigate union tags sooner rather than later. Uh, if we can make it work, I'd rather just use OpenAPI everywhere. Uh, I don't care about the operations actually, because OpenAPI is both operations and data model. Yep. We only need the data model, so uh, I think that is probably more palatable to people than the entire thing. Um, let's see on. Slack is Michael, who was uh, asking some stuff in the API Machinery channel yesterday. Uh, and I suggested that he might join this group, because uh, he was talking about Open API. Um, uh, what was it, Open API Handler, or uh, the IDL being underdocumented? So I pointed him at, at your, uh, your PR. Um, 
the upload yeah, channel? Yeah, on the, on the uh, API machine, machine, machine okay. channel. I think he's in this. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm bringing it up. Um, so I, I don't know if you want to say anything, Michael, or just listen to it. Oh, well, I, well there, there's a few things. One, it would be great if OpenAPI was able to, or sorry, the validation was able to handle things like string length and min-max on things. You know, because there are such limitations on many resources. Uh, so it would be great to have that. Um, but just in general, yeah. the so doc. I, I, have, I have thoughts on that, which is like basically there's two kinds of validation. There's kinds that you can declare statically, and there's kinds that you need to program it. You need to write a program to do. Uh, right. I think eventually we want to do the static kind uh, declaratively uh, to free up programmers from having to write validation for that and to make it more consistent. So eventually, uh, like string length and, and min, max, uh, those are, or, or, and, and also I think maybe uh, like match or regex, I think those are uh, in scope eventually. Um, yeah, but we've, we've got to, like right now we don't have a great way to tell people, hey, there's errors in your, in your schema. So, and we don't have a way at runtime to load the schema and compare an object to it. So, uh, Jenny, right, yeah. but we, we, we do, but if you try to create an object, you know, like th this, I'm coming in from like the custom resources, um, you know, point of view where if we created some of these objects, we would, you, you would be warned probably in normal Kubernetes primitive that you can't have something more than 63 characters long, but yeah. we can't have that sort of validation right now. So yeah. th th that's, that's all I meant. I mean, yes, it'd be even better if it had even better validation than that. But th that was just, what, what was driving that was a little bit about open API, I believe has such, uh, such an ability to express limits and stuff like that. But yeah. our open API gen doesn't, uh, doesn't under, you know, we don't have any annotations for that, yeah. that would then be able to do that. So that, I think we could probably add that, but that's not that. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely in scope. Uh, uh, Let's go. Like if, eventually, like maybe, maybe Maybe not for, well, I mean, I definitely think adding validation, we want to add validation for uh, like list keys. And once we have the path that goes from spec to validation, it should be pretty trivial to add yeah, that yeah. kind of validation. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that like adding string length validation is part of the apply, but the thing that we, we have to like solve all the prerequisites for that anyway. Um, so right. another thought I had when hearing you talk was um, we want, uh, I, I would like all of our APIs to be consistent and the way you produce an API should be like somewhat consistent. Like if you learn how to make a CRD, some of that knowledge should transfer over to making yeah. a built-in API. So uh, for that reason, uh, I would like our, our like separate stacks to converge and, and just give people one tool chain. Like I would like the, uh, the, Open API gen that we're working on to output not just a uh, not just this, the spec, but also output a like CRD resource that you could add to a cluster with the validation thing you already set. Right. right. So. It, and and then along with that, th there's the comment that uh, just trying to go through the process of learning how to create your own custom uh, resources or controllers or whatever. Uh, this API, the, the, the API validation thing is not really well documented, you know, yeah. or sorry, and that's just probably just a growing pain. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's also not clear, like, should I use open API gen or should I use that update code gen script or whatever, you know, because there's the, 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 you can build a open API gen binary, you know, through Go. Or you yeah. can use the, the scripts. Just like some sort of guide for people, I think would really be helpful. You know, yeah. because basically, I, I I'm just looking at other people's code and going, oh yeah, this, this is how I, th I I this is how this person did it, which is of course different than how the next person did it. And we, yeah. I, I don't want to use the term best practices, but maybe intended practices. Or you know, if we practice. tell people, <laughs> well, if if we tell people, hey, we created this open API gen binary or sorry, a command that can then create this stuff for you, which you can then stuff into your CRD validation area. At least then people understand like why it exists, where you can use it, and 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 they can hopefully kind of, we, we can all kind of agree to kind of go about the same yeah. approach. Uh, so I think 
uh, something you could help us with is where, what places do you expect that documentation to appear? Because uh, that could help us figure out where to put it. <laughs> right. Um, well, th there is like the, the, so, you know, building your own custom resource stuff was kind of an interesting thing because even the Kubernetes guide, and I, I believe even the, the sample controller says, hey, take a look at this blog article for more documentation, which probably isn't a great idea. I mean, not just because it's a blog article on some other website, it shouldn't be within the Kubernetes documentation itself, yeah. but also, you know, that tends to not always be updated. That blog article right. was a point in time. It's not, it's not Yeah, living. we should be using blog articles for our documentation. That's, <laughs> that's, that's for sure. I, I'm not trying to cast stones. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. The, There's the, plenty the, of stones that could be cast. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I'm not sure, like, I see that this open API stuff is used, used in other places. So I'm not sure if it belongs primarily in just, you know, here's how you create your own custom controller uh, documentation or if it belongs somewhere else. But maybe you guys would know that stuff. So. Um, I don't know, Sean looks like you want to say something. Yeah, just a, a quick note. Uh, on the bleeding edge now, there's a tool called Kube Builder that Phil Whitrock of the steering committee has created. And I was just in, in uh, talks with him about uh, this min-max validation automatically being generated through this Kube Builder tool. It hasn't happened yet, uh, which, you know, that doesn't help you. Um, but at least I think there's a path to uh, to have you know you, using these automated tools to uh, to get this uh, more significant validation uh, available for the CRDs that are generated through Kube Builder. Yeah, I'm a little scared of generated code. I, I, yeah, I feel like that's going to be really hard to maintain to update. Um, but we'll see. I think he's been very careful about that, though. Has he? Yeah, He's tried know. to generate the least amount necessary. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I it's, on the, it's, on so. the, it's on the radar. It's it's obviously hand waving yeah. right now. So I, I've been encouraging people to think of our our generators and stuff as like a tool chain, like just like a compiler. Um, so eventually we'll need to build it all into like the one true command to to invoke it and document that. Um, for now, uh, I, I don't know, we could write more. I, I think I'd just as soon uh, extend Antoine's documentation um, with, with more stuff, so. Um, and, and I'm willing to help write any documentation. I just don't know if I know the right way to do things because yeah, what, there's what the, many ways to do things and, and that, you know. One of the best ways to get things to happen is to write some stuff that's, that's wrong and show it to like, uh, uh, yeah, some like OCD people um, <laughs> who will then go fix it. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll I'll get on that then. Um, yeah, just uh, having a start. Just, just or, don't hate me too much. <laughs> no, uh, uh, yeah, we say stuff on and review comments or whatever, but nobody nobody hates anybody. <laughs> Mostly, <laughs> <laughs> we we appreciate any help we get. Yeah, we appreciate you showing up here. So okay, um, let's see. Anything else? Uh, we should talk about. I'm gonna summarize this as just uh, just discussion. It's Portuguese now. E.g. Min Max. Yeah, that's kind of orthogonal to what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's the right, I guess. It's yes, yes, but we'll have to we'll have to to design the. Um, the new go ideal tags for these in such a way that we shouldn't have to create like 25 new types or new go types, right? Go, ide go ideal tags. 
I wonder how extensive. I think Medi actually had a design for this from a while okay. ago. I don't know if we want to do well. So I think his design didn't go through Open API. It just went through just get generated stuff on on like the Ghost Rocks. I think we probably want to go through Open Open APIs. Right. Yeah. Language. But um, I'm interested in what people are going to write more than the what programs are going to consume. We we already have one such tag, which is optional. Yes, true. Yeah. So, and that should be programmatically validated. All right. Um, Do we have what, what's on the next sprint, or did we pull anything into that next sprint? That's like one task. Yes. Uh, we have. No. <laughs> uh, you have one. If you wanted to take another one, I would. Uh, I would drag in the union. Okay, well, we. What about the map? I think the map is going to be this map. So there's map struct union. Honestly, I'm more worried. I, I, I would rather do the hard one first. Okay. If, if, if that, does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know if it does. There's more risk. Uh, yes. There's more risk if the longer we delay the, the union. So forward. it depends what direction we want to take. Do we want to do small incremental or do we want to see because we don't need a union to get something working? We probably need maps. Uh, maps, do we have many maps being at? We don't have very many maps. Rules and annotations. Okay, then yeah, maybe. I think we probably have more unions than. And the no, critical path is kind of blocked by the patch handle anyway, so we can make progress. Yeah, actually, now that we've got, once we get you know, list types working, we should have a simple path all the way through to at least. I mean, list. to be incredibly technical, we don't need any of that to get yeah. a simple path working. Like we, we have merging code that works right now. It just doesn't, yeah. it doesn't use, doesn't have features. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're actually blocked on this patch handler stuff. Um, so, uh, but I think, I think we should view the like tool chain as its own like product, its own deliverable. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it makes sense to build out the tool chain in parallel with the rest of the stack. I mean, unless yeah. you, unless we think there's some way for us all to productively work on the, Patch handler path at the same time. Uh, no, I just want to keep my fingers in it just to see. I mean, that's for my own edification, just to keep track of, you know. Yeah. But I'm, I'm more than happy to continue on this open API. Are you okay. happy about that? So, what's that? Are you happy to keep working on these tools? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm getting stuff done. I'm getting stuff done. And there is a lot more to be done, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's good if you keep doing that. Do you want me to drag the union into the into the sprint? Um, sure. I'd be happy to help if you need. So, um, oh, uh, uh, in our five minutes left, maybe we should talk about when our next meeting will be, because I will be at QCon next week. Uh, I'm probably very jet lagged at this time. Uh, actually, no, I'll probably be functional at this time. <laughs> at this time yeah. <laughs> it's the morning. Um, so we could either skip that one, which is probably my preference. I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, don't worry about it. Three of us will be here. We could. I mean, we don't have to do the full, you know, we might just check in to see how things are going. Yeah. And then not not actually get together with uh, the people online. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that. Let's 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 call it a two-week sprint and see how much of the stuff we can get done. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, let's start the recording. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>